Welcome to Garage 23. And in last week's episode, we got the front end of our truck looking muy bonita. We replaced the entire front end basically. Got a whole new radiator support, new hood, new headlights, new fenders, new bumper, new used, used. Yeah, it was all used, but you get the idea. But now our back end needs a little bit of attention. So let's get started doing that. Okay, so right off the bat, first thing you might notice is that our bed looks a little, little different, a little, little bit, a lot a bit nicer, and that's because I found one at a local junkyard, not like a self-service yard. It was one of those that like pulls stuff for you and has it ready for you to pick up. I got rid of our old bed and drove this thing all the way over there with no, with nothing on the back, just bare frame. So that was fun. But uh, we picked this up and it's got all the plastics. It's an 08, actually it's an 09, but it's an 08 and up bed. So these come with the spray and bed liner, which is super nice. And this one has all the um, cargo hooks in place and everything. And all the plastics, the paint is really nice. No dents, a couple little small dents, but it's largely in way better condition than the old one. It's not that gross red color, so that's a big plus, but it didn't come with the taillights. So unfortunately I had to find another solution for that, which is what we're going to take care of right now. I love that soft open tailgate. So now we got to get rid of these disgusting black taillights. I'm all about the respect all builds thing, but if you spray paint your lights black, I'm sorry, you're tasting the garbage. Not sorry. So two 10 mil bolts on the inside and the two clips that weren't even doing anything. And unplug everything. And So we can put on our nice new tail lights and I, it took me a while to hunt around eBay and look for something that didn't look all gaudy and remind you of 2005 <laughs> and I came across these and I wanted something with LEDs and preferably DRLs and th these have both and they could still pass as OEM tail lights if you didn't know what you're looking at. So I think these are going to be nice. It looks like we are missing a clip. I guess we need the old tail lights for something. So our reverse light is going to go in here. And then our brake lights and running lights plug in there. These are LEDs, so they might, might have a polarity. So don't be alarmed if they don't work right away. You might just have to switch the plug around. All right. So just push the clips in and then put the two 10 mil bolts back on. Light years better. Let's see if they work. Burning lights. Brake lights. Hazard lights. Oh, it's awesome. Okay, now we can finally move on to the interior and deal with all this mess. Luckily these pieces are still available um, as aftermarket reproductions online so it wasn't too big of an issue finding these. The vents however are not available aftermarket and they are available from the dealer but they're like a couple hundred bucks each so 
that doesn't fit in the budget for for this truck so i found a couple events online on ebay just used ones and they're still like a hundred bucks for for both which i guess is better but unfortunately the, the issue with the old ones is that they're like super brittle and made of styrofoam apparently and when i ordered them by the time they got here they were packaged just dude literally put them like just in a box with a couple of chunks of styrofoam and like one wrap of bubble wrap and sent it off so when i got here part of it was one one of them was a little broken so i had to glue that back together the other one was luckily okay so it, at least that one's fine but i mean it, it is what it is um so to uninstall everything they're pretty much all just like um clips that hold into these slots on the dash so let me just pretty much yank on everything and it's gonna come out this one, this trim ring has to come off first before the rest of it. Okay. And this pulls out afterwards. This middle part should also be the same thing, except the previous owner uh, super glued part of it. Oh, well, actually, we need to remove this uh, lower dash piece, which should just have two Phillips and that should pop right out. Yeah, so this one was held behind that piece a bit. Um, what else? All oh, the vents. The vents have a, a bolt that holds them from the bottom. And once you get that lower trim piece off, you have access to that then that'll come out. Let's just pop them out. That'll work. All right, now for this side, should be two Phillips screws on the bottom as well. And I'll assume some of these in the glove box. Now for this middle part, we first need to get rid of the stereo and you just grab it and throw it out. And then the rest of the stuff, um, should just unplug. That's our AC controls and our hazard switch. Looks like a couple of Phillips screws on the sides. Okay, this thing's definitely sandwiched under this bottom piece, but I don't know what else is holding this bottom piece on. Well, that's kind of a pain. There's a bunch of Phillips screws in there. Okay, total of six screws holding that guy on. Now we have access to this one. I'm gonna unplug all this stuff. Uh, now we gotta put everything back together um, but first we can put in our new stereo which courtesy of Kopi Mart was free for now until he needs it back in a Civic <laughs> okay so we got an old school Kenwood doubled in head unit and I got the Metro dash kit so it came with these little brackets and the harness so we should be able to just plug it in now like so and our antenna which is like cut in half in the fender wall but whatever all 
All right, now we're ready for our new dash piece, which comes with new clips and everything. These are all gonna go on the back side of it. All right, now we got our new center trim piece with all our little bits attached to it, which were quite a pain I might add. But now we should be able to connect all these little bit, little guys up and put back in place. That sounded like I broke something, but it's in place now. <laughs> all right, now we got our final trim piece all assembled. So we can plug it in. Of course, the last plug doing you're just stuck behind everything now. Well, that fits fantastic. So this kit came together. This is both trim pieces are from the Metro dash kit. The part that goes around the actual stereo doesn't even fit inside the opening of the outer trim. I guess that's gonna have to be good enough. Probably should have checked if it turns on before we did all that. Yay. Good enough, makes noises. Now we can do the gauge cluster surround. Really hope they don't expect you to remove the whole shifter to get this trim back in place. <laughs> they did indeed. You do, in fact, have to remove the whole shifter to get this trim back on. So that's fun. Luckily it's only two bolts on the shifter, but you have to take the whole steering column trim off too. Now this should fit in place. Yeah. Well, that just doesn't fit. It just doesn't stay in place. That's awesome. Hopefully this goes back in place without too much trouble. Now if it's even worse. Wank. Awesome. Well, if it's any consolation, you can't see that giant hideous gap from the driver's seat. So I guess it's fine. Doesn't that look much better? Just don't look at the hideous gap on the gauge cluster. All right, I think that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Little by little, we're making this a more pleasant, drivable, presentable vehicle. So the inside definitely makes a big difference because this is what you see most of the time. So staring at all this busted, ugly junk really kind of hits your self-esteem a little bit because you're driving around and it looks like you're driving a piece of crap, which it kind of is, but you know what I mean. <laughs> So, see you guys next time. Remember, always do your best.